This month saw history made when the European Solheim Cup team won on US soil for the first time. Among those watching back home, the man who'd guided the European men's team to a stunning Ryder Cup victory at Medina last year. I went to bed about two, two o'clock in the morning. I saw everything and uh, it was uh, quite impressive, I have to say. You know, a lot of uh, records, 5-0 uh, 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 for one of the girls. And, uh, you know, quite impressive the way uh, the Rockies played, I have to say. Uh, it looked like, uh, you know, they play with, with no fear and they play great golf. Among those rookies was 17-year-old Charlie Hull, the youngest player ever to compete in the Solheim Cup and with an assured performance, surely a star in the making. How many times uh, you see that uh, in a young girl like that or in a young uh, player like, well, we saw that with uh, Tiger and Rory, but uh, uh, that's not a common thing. Uh, obviously, um, the good thing uh, for the girls is that uh, they do have uh, a very strong uh, young contingency there and uh, I think we're going to have a very strong team for the next uh, few Sohen Cups. We caught up with Jose Maria at the Johnny Walker Championship at Glen Eagles where the PGA Centenary course will stage the Ryder Cup matches next year. Paul McGinley takes the reins as captain and will hope to continue Europe's domination. The venue is fantastic. Uh, I'm sure that uh, they will tune it up uh, for next year's Ryder Cup. Uh, they will improve even uh, some uh, things on the golf course. And um, oh, it's a great venue. Uh, the place is beautiful. We do have a fantastic hotel. Facilities are great. So uh, everything I think is going to be spot on. The good thing about this golf course is that we play in it every year. We really know uh, the course quite well. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think you can uh, do a lot to it. Uh, you know. Uh, we will have to see what Paul does. Before the action gets underway, Glen Eagles will get a reported £18 million redevelopment to get it ready to stage one of the world's biggest sporting events. With the popular McGinley at the helm, Europe are likely to start as slight favourites, and he'll need to put his experience as a Ryder Cup assistant and Seve Trophy captain to good use if he's going to get the upper hand against the US skipper, the legendary Tom Watson. Well, he brings a lot of experience uh, to start with. Uh, obviously, uh, he also knows uh, all the players really well. Uh, he's good uh, managing people, uh, and I think that is key, uh, especially that week with all the tension and the pressure that uh, brings the Ryder Cup. And I think, uh, you know, that's why he, he will do well. I'm a true believer that um, you need to be close to the players. You, you need to talk to them, to see them. Uh, and uh, to be playing on the tour uh, at the same time as uh, uh, the qualifying system is going on, I think it's a positive thing. The race for a place in the European team gets underway at the Wales Open this week. And don't rule out Ola Farbel from that contest. He has the experience, of course, having played in no fewer than seven Ryder Cups. And now he has the time to get his game back on track and remind people that even at the age of 47, he still has plenty to offer and can still compete at the highest level of the game. Never-ending uh, experience, I uh, have to say. It doesn't matter how many years you play on tour. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, you get... Uh, you know, new feelings uh, about your swing, about your game, about uh, maybe uh, uh, little shots around the greens. Uh, uh, there is always a, it's always a learning process. And I think that's the beauty of this game. Uh, you, you cannot say that you're always in control uh, of this game because sooner or later it will get you. An inspirational leader wishing his successor all the best for next year at Glorious Glen Eagles.